basically how you can record your data and what to pay attention to in this exercise. I'll make this a bit bigger so you can see more clearly. Um, assuming I want to actually change the amount of water and I want to measure how long it takes for the water to boil. So from, well, for the water to warm up from 10 degrees Celsius or something like that to 100 degrees Celsius. So in my first column, I would actually put down the mass of water. And that, to make it simple, I would just put M. And I'm going to record it in kilograms. You can go for grams, but it's good to actually then convert it into kilograms later. And say I would go for something like 0 0.2, that's probably the bare minimum that you can do, and go up in steps of 0 0.2, so the next one would be 0 0.4. Now here's the first trick. You write these two numbers and do not write the unit into the where the values go. You put the unit into the header. Now you go into the bottom right corner, having written these two values, and you just expand and boom, there you go. It has automatically completed your list. I don't like this that I have um, just one decimal place here. So I can adjust that so that I have the same number of decimal places and my data table looks pretty. So important. The next thing I need to do is to record the time. And I'm just going to write uh, time in seconds. And since I have several trials, I'm actually going to insert another row above. And I'm going to put the this into the first. Um, row here and I'm going to merge these so I've merged these three and I'm going to put the time in the center and then I'm going to call this trial one and then the next one would be trial two you can actually apply the same thing as what I did earlier put the mouse into the bottom right corner and drag it across and there's trial three now I'm going to record what my values would be um, now you're going to carry out these measurements and you will probably be getting something like 190 seconds for um, a kettle of 2000 watts. So let's assume I'm getting here 190 uh, and uh, here I have 195, here this is only 180, etc. Um, and you would of course fill your data table that way. I'm not going to do this, uh, you're going to do this yourself, but just so you actually pay attention, have the units up in your header, do not put any units into your data, write down different trials, please do not write trail, that's something quite different to a trial, um, and then complete your data table. Okay, have fun, tomorrow I will show you how to actually uh, calculate the averages, if you don't know that um, and I will show you how to enter formally on here.